Hi there folks, welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. Uh, we're, we're back out again. We are. We're making a bit of a habit of this. <laughs> I think we're both so grateful to be able to get out and do some fishing after the whole lockdown thing that we feel like we kind of need to make the most of it. We you, are making the most of it. As we've learned, you never know what's going to happen in the future. I think I'd be explained in the last vlog. We do live together. You know, we are only meeting ourselves so, and we've all got to be super careful, super safe, obey the rules and everyone's going to be able to get out and do what they love with their friends a whole lot sooner. What do you reckon? I think you guys should listen to the guidelines and follow them. Absolutely agree with that. What you should also do is subscribe to this channel because it's full of really cool fishing stuff and that in it definitely definitely <laughs> and talk, talk about subscribers we just met one of our subscribers when we were getting ready and waited up and that was really really nice that was really cool wasn't it just a random bloke came over and subscribed to the channel really really cool so if you see us out and about please don't be afraid to say hello i don't bite IB's a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> so we're out doing some fly fishing again. Uh, we're going to leave all alone the lure fishing for a wee while, aren't we? A lot of our waters are getting smashed to bits by carp anglers, bream anglers, and those guys waiting to get back. So we're back on the fly fishing scene. We've got our waders on, and we are fishing the River Derwent. Uh, the plan was to come out, perhaps do some nymphing, perhaps do some dry fly fishing, a bit of a mixed up day. Actually, it turns out there's a lot of fish rising. Yes, yeah, so at the moment I am on strike for the on the dry fly fish rod and I call dibs for the first fish. Are you doing dibs? What yes. what have you seen hatching? I can't, I haven't seen anything. I think it's going to be all of uprights again. Maybe a few mayflies. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I reckon olive uprights. I've seen a couple of mayfly. I reckon there's a chance of iron blues because it's a little bit cloudier than it was last time we were out. So there'll be lots of bugs. There'll be lots of different ways of catching these fish. I think it's important that we crack on and make the very most of our time out on the beautiful River Derwent. Stay tuned and let's get cracking. Right, so we walk along the bank for a little bit and we have seen a couple of fish rising consistently and that's what we're looking for. Uh, we have, oh, and just saw a fish rise again. Um, so there's a very interesting bubble line up against the far bank that I am most interested in. There are a few fish rising every 30 to 45 seconds. I don't know exactly what they're taking on, but I have tied my olive upright on. I think we should get in the river and have a go. Right, so we are in the river now. I have just seen a fish rise just be, uh, underneath the tree branch. I'll have a go, fingers crossed. Oh, I'm very nervous and excited at the same time. Yeah, okay. That will probably start dragging. That did all right. That did all right. I thought, oh no, no, no. I think it will be all right. I will wait a few seconds, see if the fish comes back. I think it will be all right. Okay, so hopefully I don't mess it up now again. I will try and be a bit more precise with my cast. There was one fish closer there that I would like to cover. Nothing, okay. It's really, really hard for me to see my fly. If it lands and I spot it, it's fine. I can just keep watching it. But if I don't spot it as soon as it lands, then you can't pick it out because there's so much bubbles and rubbish that's going on. Okay. I think it's time to change the fly because this, I feel like I've covered the fish quite a few times and had a good drift. It's time to change and try something else. Okay, so I've tied one of the foam dents. It's a little bit smaller. If it doesn't start dragging. If I lose this fish, I probably deserve to lose that fish because I did that thing again, pointing the rod down, thinking I don't have the fish. It's fighting like a brownie. A bit nervous, not gonna lie. Nice wild brownie. Lovely. <laughs> Please forgive me for my try and error and fail, but then in the end, I always succeed. 
I will try and be as quick as possible to show you a beautiful wild brownie. And we're gonna put him back. I'm a, I am a little bit annoyed, I'm not gonna lie, that that's the fish that took my fly and I decided to go for that fish because I think there's a bigger fish further downstream um, and now it's Andy's turn, so no doubt he's gonna catch it. Righty, so actually, while Ibi thinks that she made a bit of a mess of that, I think she did pretty well because these bubble line sippers are never easy. They're moving around a lot, there's a number of fish, lots of different bugs. I actually thought she did pretty well there. I'm going to creep across. I don't want to get too much closer than this. We're probably already closer than we were before. And I think key here is going to be drift. If I can get the drift right over these fish, I feel like they'll eat every time. It's not an easy drift, this one. So we're just going to hold fire for a second, wait for the next riser, probably not that one down there and uh, I think there's a good chance for a second fish out of this one. That didn't take long, they've come back. Let's see how many of these I can miss. Ooh, it's a wee bit short, it's just on the edge of the foam line. There have been a few fish there, but it's not, it's not gone where I wanted it to, if I'm honest. I'm about two foot short at that. It's close enough to the fish that I feel like I need to let it drift through rather than rip it straight out. I want to get underneath that branch. Ideally, that's the that's the money spot, I think. Kind of get a fly under there. That'll do, that'll do. That's the cast I wanted to make. Got him. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I waited as well. I even said got him before I struck. Oh. I think that's a sign of our relationship, that when I miss a fish, I immediately turn around to IB and look, look for some kind of reassurance. <laughs> There's another fish just risen, yeah, so I clearly didn't touch him. I'll get the fly dry and we'll go again on that. Righty, so he has come back. It took a couple of minutes, but he has actually come back. And that's roughly where he just rose. Perhaps a wee bit short, but we'll give it a go. And I'm reassured now about the fly. I did think the fly was right to start with, but you do kind of start second guessing yourself. But that's told me now that this is all presentation. I've got the right fly, I'm just not getting the right drift. That'll do, that'll do, here he comes, yeah, <laughs> yes, absolutely brilliant, love this fishing, absolutely perfect, just came out of nowhere, that thing, and, and now he's going in the other direction, pretty quickly, weird fight, very strange fight, I just wonder if I've perhaps nicked this guy around a fin or something, because I'm pretty sure it's a brownie, but he's come straight to the surface. He's kind of skating around. What's going on here? This is odd. Is he wrapped up maybe? Let's get him away from that branch. So cool, such cool fishing. Everyone gets excited about the mayfly fishing and all that. For me, this is the time of year. Oh, it's a nice brown. Oh no, it's a rainbow. Should have guessed that from that big run really. It's a nice rainbow. I see one of the things to note about the, the Derwent around here is, is it's where the River Wye flows into it. So some of these wild rainbows have made their way into the Derwent and this is definitely one of them. Wow, so strong. The rainbows fight totally differently and it makes me wonder now if the big fish under the tree might be a rainbow as well because he's got a very light coloured tail. Wow. It's not the time to be on three and a half pound tippet, that's for sure. Don't think he's going to be ready for the net just yet. Are you? Are you ready? Are you tired? No, not tired enough. <laughs> still, still taking line. And that drag set quite hard as well, you know. I'm giving this some stick. Now are you ready? Now are you ready? Get in that net. Yes! <laughs> that is so cool. I did not expect a rainbow here. As I say, these are wild rainbows. These aren't stockies. It's a beauty. Let's check this out. Really cool, amazing fight. That's exactly what you come out on these days for. Uh, I gave it the big and during the during the uh, playing of the fish there about the wild rainbows and the Derwent that come out of the Y. I must admit, on second glance, this is quite an unusual looking fish. I'm not 100% on that one. Generally, the wild fish would have a slightly bigger square of tail than that. I, I, I don't know, to be honest. It's got the white tips to the fins there. It's got the orange tip on the dorsal fin, but it does look a bit weird. I'm not aware that these would be stocked anywhere else. Whatever he is, we're going to slip him straight back. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. I must admit, I really wish it was a big wild brown, but just so nice to come out and catch a few fish. Particularly nice to catch them on dries and in a tricky lie like that. Not going to complain. Happy to catch whatever's over there. But right now, I want to watch IB catch another one. 
As jealous as I am of Andy catching a trout from there, I have seen a couple of more rise, just in the same line, in the same bubble line. I'm hoping it's the same fish that Andy pricked before, because it, it does seem, like Andy said, quite a nice fish. And I do feel like I deserve one. Andy had a big one recently from the Y. I need a, a good one to start my season as well. just took something before my fly. Yeah, yeah, that's a very big whatever it is. Jesus Christ. I think it was a rainbow. I don't know. I think it was a rainbow. Oh, yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. He's not ready yet, he's not ready yet. I feel like this fish is bigger than Andy's. Don't want to talk too soon. But I think Andy might have been right and said that it was a bigger rainbow there. Actually, it looks quite golden there now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I hooked the bone fish in the pool. If I lose this, I, will gonna cry. I am gonna cry. Just FYI, so everyone knows when the tears start. I have a feeling it will kick again. If I stun him in, yes! <laughs> My rainbow is bigger than yours. My rainbow is bigger than yours. Let's have a look. Right, I don't think this is a wild rainbow. Nonetheless, gave me a good fight and made my heart quite excited. Full of energy. <laughs> Big kick to wave goodbye. Unfortunately, as fun as it was for me, and it's turn again. Rubbish. Righty, so we're gonna go back into the back into the same pool. I think this will probably be, if I catch it, that is, this will probably be the last one we take out of here for the moment because we don't want to hammer on the same pool constantly. Just found one fish in a real tricky spot, a nightmare spot. Uh, right up against the roots, under the tree, complicated cast. These are the kind of fish that really get me going. These are the ones that I enjoy. Uh, it's going to be difficult, but I reckon if I can squeeze a fly in the right spot up against those tree roots there, where he's just risen, I reckon I can fool him. Let's see what happens. That's perfect first time. Perfect first time. There he is, he's still there. He won't come any, he won't come more than about 10 centimetres away from those tree roots. Let's try him on that. That's close. But it's not going to be close enough for him. Wily fish, that one. Really, really wily fish. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's got a chance. No. Still not close enough. Ooh. Nightmare. Okay. That's the, that's the best one of the lot so far. It's a question of whether it's dragging when it reaches him. I think that might have been my fly. God, it was so delicate, I barely even saw the rise. I think that was my fly. Let's just rest him for a second. I certainly didn't make any contact with him. We're just going to rest this fish for a second. I totally lost my fly. Righty, we rested him for a few minutes. He has come back. He's just fed again, so... That's a wee bit short, but again, it's a nice kind of sighter. Nothing wrong with dropping the first one a bit short. We'll try that one again. That's pretty nice. It's just gonna take a long time to get to him. Big chance for that to drag before it reaches him. Still see it, no drag just yet. That's right on him. Didn't eat it. See if I can get this cast a bit further into that bank by casting off the wrong shoulder. and see where the fly landed. Let's let that one go. See where it ends up. I think it's short. It looks short. I did say I like a nice tricky one. This one is proven to be exactly that so far. 
Oh no! <laughs> he did want it. He wanted that one. Actually, it wasn't a very good cast. I've been trying to give that fish a little bit of lead. I landed that one right on his face and he snapped it up straight away. Might be time to find another one, IB, I reckon. What do you think? You tell me, IB, what did I do wrong? I think we can still catch that fish in a couple of hours. Worth going back to, I reckon, that yeah. one, isn't it? It feeds I, hard. I think it has your name on it, so you definitely would. And I do think it's probably a brownie because it's so close up to the bank. That's a real brownie lie, isn't it? Yeah. Up against the roots, up against the bank. But we can't stay in one spot forever. We've got a whole lot of beautiful river to explore, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. So we need to keep doing that. So I think that's the plan really, isn't it? We'll, we'll keep trying to find risers. We'll leave the nymph and stuff in the car. I don't yeah, think we're going to need it. Yeah, I don't think it. we need it. There's plenty of fish rising downstream. That's where we're going to have a walk and hopefully I can find a few more brownies somewhere. Righty, so we've walked down and we've found a few fish rising in a, in a back eddy in front, of a, in front of me. Well hidden by tree branches and it looks deep. In fact, I don't know how much closer I'm going to be able to get can't see a huge amount into the water. It looks like this drops off really quickly. It's about as close as I can get. This is going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. That whacked the tree. That's not, in fact, no, it's still in the tree, is it? Oh, actually, that's pretty good. That's a great cast. Got him. Got him. Yeah, I'm pleased with that one. Difficult to say how big this fish is because it was such a delicate rise. So here's a brownie in that back eddy. That's what we were after. Could be a good fish, that, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Oh, it's just woken up. Come on, can you come, stop that. Stop that, in he goes. Good stuff. Nice brownie, but there's plenty of fish rising further upstream, so we're gonna slip him straight back. There he goes. So it's surprisingly, it's been a couple of hours now since we last fished. We haven't seen anything r uh, rising. We walked upstream a little bit from where we were before. Uh, Andy went and picked up a dry and dropper rod. I have a little quill jig uh, tied on it and hopefully we can nymph a few out. I would prefer to dry fish, obviously, who doesn't, but it's just nothing rising at the moment. So I think just a few fish to finish off the day and let's see how we can go. That was a fish. That was a rise. <laughs> what are the odds that as soon as we get the nymph rod out, they start rising again? Right, this might change a few things. That's a brownie. It looks like a nice brownie. Could really do with him coming up in the shallower stuff. Ooh, I think I scared him <laughs> by walking. Come on. Come on, yes! A fish! And it's a brownie! And the nymphs work and everything works. Let's have a look. This is a beautiful, beautiful wild brownie. Stunning fish, gorgeous. We will put him back. Go on, buddy. Ooh, he shoot up. I know it's on an infant, it's not on the dry fly, and some people might not like that, but I've got a fish, and it's on the nymph, and what? Sue me. IB's kind of set the precedent there. I think I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I just wonder if some of these fish have dropped off into the deeper little pots and holes and stuff maybe they're not on the maybe they're not on the dry fly lies anymore so like IB says whatever's working happy to fish it if it means nymphing a couple out not a problem there we go oh yeah they are over there okay looks like we've possibly done the damage in there but we've got another slightly deeper pocket just up against the far bank up here that needs a needs a fly through it there we go there we go I thought one of those would be a fish eventually it's difficult in there because it was catching the bottom so much but eventually eventually one of them was bound to be a fish Nice, comfortable place to play a trout from now.
There we go, lovely fish, fantastic. That's really nice to get one out of there. I guess it's a, a victory for being a little bit versatile, isn't it? You know, nothing's rising, nothing's really going on. Switch the dry and drop a rig and all of a sudden, two fish in a couple of minutes. Lovely dark fish, that old boy, I reckon. Go on, get yourself back. <laughs> That was really, really fun, and as I say, just a bit of a, a bit of a justification for being versatile. And you know, if the rules allow it on your fishery, and there's nothing hatching, nothing rising, no fish visible, why not throw the nymph rig into a riffle? There's bound to be something there for you. If it's the difference between a blank and catching fish, do it. You got to do it. You would think there were fish there. You think? What did you say? It must be so nice to be Andy. To be right and good at this. It's an out of season grayling because I'm that kind of person. Right, we're not gonna mess around with him, just to hook him and oh the fly is out already. So we're gonna do a whoop. Sorry about me. But I don't think that counts, Andy, as a fish because it's an out of season fish. When we did this last season, it counted. Go on, crack on. It might just count when you do it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Welcome to my world. That's a fish. I have no idea what it is. It, well, I have a very good idea of what it is. It's a trout, that's what it is. It's a very lively trout that I would like to play off the reel, if possible at all. Woo! Very lively trout. Ah! Trout, 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 trout. Just hooked, just hooked. I have so many skills at landing fish. So skilled. Usually, I just, oh, getting Andy now. Usually, I just stun them in and get them in the net. No playing around. So the hook came out in the net, but we will just have a very quick look and put him back. Stunning, wild, brownie. Off he goes. Okay, I think Andy deserves his turn now. I don't really want to give it to him. I think he deserves it. He made he he helped me a lot to catch that fish. I'm not very good at uh, dry and dropper. I'm quite good at dry fly. I'm quite good at French leader. I would like to think I'm quite good. What do you think, Andy? Am I good at French leader? Yeah, I give you that one. Yeah, but dry and dropper, it's still something new to me. I'm not I'm not really that good at it. So Andy was kind of helping me and talking me through how I should be fishing it, and it clearly worked because I had takes. With a little bit of luck, I could have had four fish from this pool, not just two. But Andy, thank you very much, and you can have the rod now. Righty, so last throw of the dice time, I reckon. The sun's nearly gone. Oh, we've actually nearly run out of memory on all the memory cards. Yes. Been a long day, but we've got fish rising in the first spot we fished, haven't we? I think it's our first spinner fall of the year as well. Definitely the first time we fished spinners of the year, and because of that reason, we've just tied on a spinner that I beat tied a couple of yes, days ago. I did. You've been learning to tie your flies, haven't you, over the lockdown period, and we've got a really nice uh, poly yarn spinner that I think could well do the job over there, but the only way we're going to find out is by chucking you in the river and seeing if it works. <sighs> Let's have a go. Right, so I did say I only want one more fish and then I will be done, I know. Um, sounds silly of me, but really, just one more fish. I'm quite tired now and dehydrated and hungry and hangry a little bit, if you ask Andy. Ooh, a fish just rose literally there, right by at the end, basically, of my rod tip. Let's see if it takes that. No, I'm not going to play around with that. I'm going to go for a fish that I saw rise more times if I don't lose my fly in the tree. The annoying thing with fishing spinners is that there can't be any kind of drag, which sounds easier than it actually is. 
Right, so we've changed the fly to an apricot spinner, one of the filling mill ones. I can actually see that a bit better on the water, so I know if I'm getting a good drift or a bad drift, if it's dragging, if it's what, because it is quite important when fishing spinner full. Um, hopefully, I get a take pretty soon. I thought that was, I thought that, that drift was quite good. I didn't think I did anything wrong. It wasn't dragging particularly. Right, see you. Oh, don't you get excited when you see a fish rise. Yes, 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 yes. Finally. No messing around, no messing around. It's a rainbow. Maybe a little bit of messing around. Okay, come on in. Yes! No, it's a brown trout. It's so like reddish pinkish that's actually I thought it was a rainbow, but it's a wildy. It's a wild brown trout. A beautiful wild brownie. Yay! Probably my last fish of the day. Thank you very much, you beautiful little trout. So nice to finish off the day with a, br a beautiful brownie, but unfortunately it's Andy's turn now. Righty, so as I be mentioned, I get last fish of the whole day, last shot of the whole day, and the fish that was teasing me earlier on is still rising just underneath this tree up against the root. So I'm gonna see if I can tease that one out. Really wanna catch this fish just cause it's in such a cool spot. That's not a bad first chuck actually. Probably a wee bit short. Good sight though. Okay. That should be as good as it needs to be. Drift looks good. It's in the right area. Got him. Oh, what? What happened? Did I wait? Right, so I had to wait for a couple of seconds for anything to, to reappear again after that. I I definitely did prick that last fish. It just felt like it might have upset the pool a little bit, but starting to see signs of fish rising again. Got him. Got him. Oh, that was way downtown. <laughs> a little snap cast at a fish that just caught it out of the corner of my eye, really. Much further downstream than the others. Big downstream drift. I'll be honest, I thought that that, I thought that that spinner was dragging, which makes me wonder if this is probably gonna be quite a small fish. But, geez, I struggled a little bit there, so just glad to hit one. Absolutely classic spinner full dry fly fishing. You can't beat this stuff. If you leave before this time of day when you dry fly fishing, you're absolutely bonkers. Come on. There we go. Nice one to finish on, I reckon. Beautiful wild brownie. Ready, last fish of the day. Full of life. Beautiful Derwent brownie. Nice sparse spots, big halos around the red spots. Classic Derwent brownie. And I think, Ivy, that might be a good one to finish on. Yes, yes, oh, I'm so glad I managed to catch one. <laughs> what are you? Show yourself, show yourself. I think it's a brownie. Oh, yes. No such thing as one last cast. There's always another cast and another cast and another cast. And I know Andy said we're gonna finish. We can't have Andy finishing the day, especially while the fish are rising. The fly's out. Thank 
you. And he goes. Oh, Andy, what do you reckon? I reckon there's time for one more cast. I reckon so. Too. <laughs> that one last cast. One last, one last cast. Right, I'd be, and I had planned on kind of making tracks on going home by now, but it just feels like this spinner fall is cranking up and up and up, and I think we'd be bonkers to walk away from it. There's some good fish to be had here. You can make the right casts. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Crikey, this just gets better and better as the, as the light leaves us. Absolutely awesome fishing. Strong fish, woof. Strong, strong fish. Come on. Whoa, wow. <laughs> it's a salmon. I'm pretty sure this is a small rainbow. I'm pretty sure it's a small rainbow. A little wild rainbow. Oh, wow, it's so strong. Here's a little wild rainbow, absolute beauty. Well, that was really nice. Proper spinner fall fishing. Beautiful wild rainbow. What do you reckon, IB? One more, I go home. Oh, okay, I think we, I think we know what that means then. <laughs> So the last cast is not always the last cast, as you probably know, um, but I think we did really well today. That was a lot of last casts. Yeah. Uh, we've actually done quite a lot of fishing we haven't even filmed because we've basically run out of battery or memory on, on everything. We've got a couple of minutes left on, on the main camera, this one. And that is about us done, isn't it? I mean, it, it's gloomy. I don't think the camera's really quite showing up how dark it is. It is pretty much pitch black. Yeah, it is really dark. But as you say, I don't think we can complain too much. We've caught plenty of fish, a few on dries, a few on nymphs. And what quality of fish as well. Those wild rainbows are so beautiful. Absolutely. Um, and wild brownies, like they're stunning. It just makes the whole trip so much more enjoyable. And actually from a part of the River Derwent that we haven't fished this for yeah. two years, two and a half years since we were last on this piece. This was really an, an exploratory day that we bought the camera stuff and it turns out there's plenty of fish here the river's super healthy uh, regardless of how big the floods were over the winter the fish have survived the bugs have survived and it looks as good as possibly it has ever been to me it was a really good day today that was a good day we can't complain too much i hope you guys have enjoyed it too if you have please hit the like button we really appreciate that it'd be really nice if you drop us a comment let us know what you thought uh, let me know what i'm doing wrong striking my dry fly takes because <laughs> it's starting to... i had hair before i started missing the takes uh, it just seems to be a bit of problem for me doesn't it i just need to chill out a little bit i reckon just count do like me three two one go <laughs> so on that note we're gonna three two one go back to the car and try and find somewhere that can serve as a dirty pizza at this time of night thank you very much for watching the video really appreciate it and ivy and i'll see you again for some more fishing and stuff very very Thanks, soon guys. take Bye. care folks Bye bye